how is everybody doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to check the solenoid on the scooter, on the GY6. So we're just going to do a little test to see if the solenoid is working. The solenoid is a big switch that will help your starter motor to start your scooter, okay? So you have to open your seat. You have to remove the inside container. So the compartment, you just remove the cap and you have four screw. One, two, three and four screw right here. They are 10 millimeter, okay? So just remove them. And then you can remove the whole container inside, the compartment. Make sure you put the cap of the gas back because if you move or you shake your scooter, the gas will come out a little bit, okay? Now the solenoid is right here, on the right side of your scooter, right on top of the frame, okay? Okay, we need to remove right here the solenoid. That is attached to the frame, okay? There is one side of the solenoid that goes directly to your battery, that's the red line. This one goes directly to your battery. The other side goes to your starter motor, okay? So I want you to unscrew the part that goes to the starter motor. That is on the right side, okay? The black cable on the right side. Now make sure you don't touch, touch those two bolts uh, with something in the middle because you're going to see some sparks. There is some electricity. The best way will be to unscrew the positive side on your battery. So you're not going to see any, any kind of like sparks, okay? So, but you're going to need that kind of power that is in there to test the solenoid, okay? Okay, this is the part, the little bolt right here of the solenoid, okay? That's the solenoid right here, okay? Okay, to test your solenoid, you're gonna need a multimeter, okay? You're going to open up the compartment of the battery, okay? You're going to place the negative side of the multimeter on the negative side of the battery, okay? Try to unscrew the battery a little bit and place uh, the black side underneath the screw, okay? So it's going to be inside there, stuck, so it's not gonna move, okay? It's gonna get a nice reading, okay? Make sure it's nice and firm, the connection to the black side of the battery, okay? Now, this is the red part of the multimeter, okay? Make sure to place the multimeter in a way that you're going to see it and you're going to read it, okay? At this point, we're going to open the seat, okay? Where is the solenoid? This is the multimeter. I want you to put the multimeter on 20 volts direct current. 20 volts DC, okay? Place in a place where you can read it, okay? With the red side of the multimeter line, go touch the cord that comes from the battery. You should get a reading. At the moment, I'm getting a reading of 12.69, okay? Now, this doesn't mean much. This means that the cord that goes from the solenoid to the battery is okay. To check the solenoid, you will have to 
take the red side of the multimeter, place it on the, the same place where the line of the starter goes. So this one is the place, this is the connection that goes to the starter, okay? So you're going to place the connection of the multimeter here, okay? You're going to put a screw. And you're going to squeeze that connection, okay? Now, you're going to have this one connected to the side that goes to the starter, okay? This is the line that comes from the battery. This is the line that goes to the starter, okay? Okay, so take the key of your scooter, place it on your scooter, twist it, and try to start your scooter. You should get a reading on the mirror multimeter, okay? If you don't, that means the solenoid is not working or is the switch and the handlebar that doesn't start your scooter, okay? Okay, if you can see, when I try to turn on my scooter, the solenoid is clicking and is reading about 12.50. Don't try, don't keep the solenoid too long clicking because it might damage the solenoid. You only need to click once or twice, okay? Just to let you know the solenoid is working and the current is going from the battery to the starter, okay? And the point is reading 1221. When I try to start the scooter, the solenoid is reading 1221, okay? Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoy. This video, we just check the solenoid. Solenoid is connected to the battery and it's connected to the starter, okay? So the solenoid is just like a big switch, okay? Sometimes the solenoid can fail, so if you leave your scooter outside under the rain, under all the weather, it might take some corrosions, and at that point it might not work anymore. So the solenoid is about maybe $10 online, and it's not really big deal to change it, okay? Just be careful when you change it, make sure the battery is disconnected from the solenoid, okay? So if not, you're gonna make lots of sparks, okay? Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click like, okay? Thank you very much.